Hi everyone, let's have a look at my bullish and bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting with the range, as they always say, trade the range until it breaks. We have the low over here that was made yesterday, taking the liquidity of the previous lows here on the left. And then if we trade the range until it breaks, we're looking for a move to the upside at around 30k because we have an interesting triple top over here, which is definitely a target in this horizontal range that we are in. The main question we have to ask ourselves, however, is are we going to get a V-shaped recovery, which basically means that price moved down very quickly impulsively and then immediately continues to the upside towards the 30k area or are we going to have a little bit of a more bearish scenario where we are going to range here for a little bit before moving down once again take this low and maybe also a low resting at 26.5k which is the low over here that was made on the 28th of march and after taking these lows we then move to the upside so a v-shaped recovery would be moving to the upside right now and i guess the not v-shaped recovery is moving down once more before moving up and i have both a scenario to the upside for you guys on the more local time frames as well as one to move to the downside and it is at least something to take into account with your trading in case you are entering the longs and you're looking for upside or whatever you're doing with your plan and your strategy it is something to take into account that we might not get a v-shaped recovery and come down once uh, come yeah come down once more so if you then look at the overall structure i'm looking for then we are looking at a three-way structure in an a b c or a w w x y it doesn't really matter for the targets at the moment but then inside this horizontal range we are looking at a three-way structure and then a w x y where eventually an interesting target for this wave y is going to be that triple top so the high of the range at about 30k as well as the target box that we have in blue between 30.2k and 30.4k for then maybe a potential move to the downside for then a wave c so that is definitely something to look for and we have to wait and see how price is moving towards the upside to get a clearer idea if this is going to be the target or if we are going to move higher into this white target box that you see which also has other counts but that goes too deep for the video that i'm making at the moment now if you then zoom into this structure and have a look at okay are we going to move to the upside or is there still you know the probability we move down well the probability of moving down is the following scenario where this is still an abc right as i've just shown you we're still looking at this to be an abc for eventually more downside but more locally we are then looking at a three wave structure and then a wx and then a wave y which is a three a three so this is a wxy exit so another corrective move over here before then another w x and then a y to the downside and a y is then a three wave structure as well so in this scenario if i move to the one hour time frame we are looking at this to be then a zigzag followed over here by then a wave x which can be any correction and then another double move over here to the downside a three wave structure for wave y where if i zoom out once again the, the uh, one of the common targets for a wave y is the 0.618 you can see we just missed out on hitting that 0.618 target for the wide wave y over here but we got close and if price is going to range here for a bit and move to the downside it not only hits the one the 0.618 but it might also grab the liquidity of this low and potentially get into the target area for an expanding flat wave b which then means that this is an a b c but then inside the green b we have an expanding flat in a three three and then a five wave move to the upside where the most common target area for wave b is in between the 1.236 and the 1.38 fib taken from the low of a to the high over here which currently sits between 26.5k and 26.1k so this is definitely an interesting area if price goes to the downside then this is definitely an area i'm looking for for potentially of course trading it to the long side depending on what price is going to do and what structure it is going to create because if price moves down but doesn't find any support it of course doesn't make sense to enter a long position so make sure you stick to your plan have your entry requirements and your strategy and trade safe so this is the i suppose more bearish scenario where we are going to range a little bit over here locally so we could range here for a while before then finding a move to the downside taking this low again and potentially the low at 26.5k before moving to the upside if we look however at the cvd divergences that we have at the moment we do build bullish divergences we currently have a higher low on price but on both the yellow and the blue line we are creating lower lows which is a bullish divergence and the target for the bullish divergence is taking the high over here at about 28k so that is quite interesting however 
We did of course have quite the dump yesterday and bullish divergences might be or at least have a higher probability to be leading after a big volume move. So that is something to keep into account and leading means that price is going to follow the divergences to the downside. But as it stands now, we have at least a little bit of a bounce here to the upside. And I do know that we are bouncing on the 0.5 Fibonacci, which I quickly want to show you here as well. So the 0.5, the blue line, as you can see, price did not close a 15 minute candle below the 0.5 as it stands at the moment which can also be a potential wave two for then eventually more upside right because this move to the upside can be counted as a five wave structure in a one two three four five then you have a corrective structure before then continuation to the upside in either this being then an a b c or this is a one two three four five for a lot more upside to go however it, and that that's low time frame counting i'm on the five minute now now you can also make this a zigzag in a three-wave structure another three-wave structure and then something complex you know i don't really like the low time frames i'd like to stick on the 15 as a bare minimum but hey we still have at least a scenario where downside could be possible the more bullish scenario is that the low is in where this is then a five wave structure in a one two three four and this is then the end of wave five where now we are looking towards the upside so this is of course then the bullish scenario where on the medium time frame scenario we took the liquidity of the range the previous lows and after grabbing this liquidity, you know, there's not too much liquidity anymore below these lows. So yeah, it makes sense to move to the upside uh, where then, of course, then the target is going to be that triple top at 30K. But then again, keep in mind, if price moves to the downside, we know at least a scenario that we're looking for, right? It's always important to have a bullish and a bearish scenario. And the most bullish scenario is that we are not going to take the triple top at 30K and move down once again. But it basically is continuing to the upside where the correction is basically finished where we then have a w either w already started here in this being a three-wave structure or by itself this being a three-wave structure followed by a wave x and then an abc in wave y where price hit the most common target area for a wave y which is between then uh, the one or the uh, four wave y which is the 0 0.618 sorry and the one and the 1.236 is the most common target area for wave c in this then being an a b c and as you can see price has been very nicely respecting this target area for then potentially this being the low of wave y and going for much higher prices so not turning around at 30k but continuing to the upside for higher prices to come and if you want to know more about that go to my macro and high time frame video linked at the end now the news we do have some news uh, today also at 2.30 p.m. Central East European time. So you might want to check your own time zone. But we have some news coming. You see the red flags and the red flags often mean volatility just like we had on wednesday it might happen uh, again today so we have to wait and see the only thing i want to tell you is trade safe when there is news because price might be very very volatile like it proved to be in this area over here right so make sure that at 2 30 today p.m central east european time you're going to be trading very safe that being said i hope this video was helpful or valuable to you please check out the macro and the high time frame video if you're interested and for now thanks for watching and subscribing and i will see you at the next one Bye bye